First of all, I would like to make clear that when I say evolution or evolve, what I actually mean is a complex system with more information, such as a galaxy or a human being, eventually coming into existence from a relatively simpler system with less information such as a Big Bang singularity or a protozoan. The Big Bang theory represents cosmic evolution and the origin of species represents biological evolution. Now in this perspective let's go into this video. Hi, in this video I would like to talk about the Big Bang theory. The Big Bang Theory is a uh, part of the whole evolution belief according to which complex uh, things evolve from things that are more simple and basic. Now, According to the Big Bang Theory, the whole universe was compressed into what they call a singularity and then after the Big Bang, the stars, galaxies and everything that we see now evolved. Now, the Big Bang Theory is a desperate attempt to remove God from, the, from our understanding. Have you ever seen a picture of the singularity? I'm going to actually show you how the singularity will look like. Have a look. Had a look? Yeah, that's what the singularity means. The singularity means absolutely nothing when space and time did not exist at all so basically that's what they're saying they're saying that everything came out of nothing now hang on we read from the bible that in the beginning god created heaven and the earth and the big bang says in the beginning nothing totally dark it should have been dark if there was nothing you know it's a bit scary actually now these two don't agree with each other they're totally contradictory and there is no way we can bring the big bang into the bible some people try to do that and that's that's totally wrong you can't do that genesis 1 1 in the beginning god created heaven and the earth now the big bang theory says something totally different it says in the beginning absolutely nothing exploded to form the universe that we see now i'm assuming that if it's absolutely nothing it has to be dark now we read from 1 John 1 5 that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. My friends, the Bible says that sometimes even our understanding, uh, our way of comprehending things can be wrong. It is possible that even our understanding can be darkened. They could be pointing to us the wrong direction. This is what Ephesians 4.18 says. Ephesians 4.18 They are darkened in their understanding and separated from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in them due to the hardening of their hearts. Also John 3.19 says this, Light has come into the world, but men love darkness instead of light because their deeds were evil. Okay, if, if God created the universe, then what was there before God or maybe was there someone else before God it's uh, it's a very logical question and it also has a very simple answer the answer is in Revelations 1 8 this is what we read Revelations 1 8 I am Alpha and Omega the beginning and the ending you see God is the beginning and the ending which means that there was nothing before him and there is not going to be anything after him we read in the Bible that he is an eternal God and he is willing to give us eternal life through his son Jesus Christ now the Big Bang Theory says in the beginning there was absolutely nothing now this is totally contradictory just as I said so the Big Bang Theory is basically wrong from a biblical perspective there is no way I repeat again there is no way you can bring the Big Bang into the Bible also we know that nothing only points to something that cannot cannot or does not exist but there has always there has always been a God uh, and there is nothing called absolutely nothing the Big Bang Theory which is sort of a cosmic evolution model the Big Bang never happened that's the first conclusion. 
Now I would cover more about uh, Darwin's biological evolution, the, the origin of species in, in another video. Um, but regarding the Big Bang, this is my conclusion, it never happened uh, and it's not biblical. It's very controversial to what we read from Genesis. A meaningless singularity which which is absolutely nothing was not the beginning of our universe. In the beginning God created heaven and the earth. And everything has you know, even in nature we find purpose and meaning in and design in everything. So definitely it's God who created the universe. This is my second conclusion. Satan will come to you and he will put questions in your mind like didn't it all happen by itself? Is there really a God? Respond to him, tell him that it is written that in the beginning God created heaven and the earth. Uh, I would like to thank you for your time and um, I also apologize for my accent. Thank you.